So this is the second video I'm doing on the majority report because clearly Sam Cedar has some issues with his channel and I don't know who is responsible for loading videos to his channel, why the titles are always wrong. I mean, well, okay, this is the second one, so I can't say always, right? That would be an exaggeration because I don't know. I don't know. But um, as you can clearly see, John Stewart's name is not spelled with an H. I'm, I'm very confused why your titles are off because like the last one I covered, you said anti-progressive wave in LA when it was clearly a progressive wave in LA. And now you got this, you, you misspelled John Stewart's name. Um, all right, let's see what, let's see what this is. Hi, this is John from Cleveland. John from Cleveland, what's on your mind? Um, about a month back, John Stewart had an interview with a Steve Henke. And he's of the school of thought of like Ayn Rand based capitalism. And I just, I'm tired of seeing now John in the past, you know, he's, he, I don't think he goes far enough in answering how we fix the system, but he at least identifies like something is wrong with how we're doing it. Yeah. Sometimes. But he, but he like, and I, I see this a lot with liberals or even my like conservative family. they, yeah, I, I, I'm totally down with you on this because, like, a lot of people look to Jon Stewart like he's, like, some sort of political authority when he's made a lot of fucking mistakes. He's made a lot of mistakes. He was one of the dudes put, peddling the, um, the, the Wuhan lab uh, conspiracy theory. Um, yes, we love the activism that he's done for the 9-11 uh, first responders. Yes, we love the activism he does for veterans, but he does not always get it right. And I'm a little confused as to where, whether he is a liberal or if he's a libertarian. Well, go, hey, this person has X credentials, so they must know what they're talking about, even if what they're talking about is complete BS. Right. Of like, oh, we need to stop programs that help the poor. Like, my mom's on uh, Medicare. And without it, she wouldn't be able to afford her $50,000 chemo treatment. Right. So if, if he got his way, like, she wouldn't be here. And I'm just like, what, why don't people like like Jon Stewart, people who, who seem to be empathetic, go, oh, well, we got to hear him out because he has, you know, a college degree that says he knows what he's talking about. I mean, now you know why the Koch brothers go in and fund all of these, like, uh, a professor, you know, uh, wh why people fund like professorships, like when you see like, you know, the Charles David Koch uh, professor of economics at, um, wh you know, whatever a university is. Now you know why they do this, because there is, you know what, though, <sighs> come on, you literally have platformed Jackson Hinkle. That kid does not have a degree. He has no experience to speak of, but you've given him a place on your show. And um, all of us local activists who actually live near him have no respect for him. He, he, he doesn't work with anybody locally anymore. Like, we're done with him. He used to have party backing. Um, he, he and his running mate, Jake Ribchick, got like a $10,000 donation from the uh, women of South Orange County Democratic Club. Um, he used to do some activism, but it was all performative. And you gave him a platform on your show and elevated that guy and helped increase his audience base. In the, the marketplace of ideas, um, one of the, the, the dirty secrets is, is that having you know credentialism essentially is a is a big currency in there yeah he's a canon right. institute guy i'm looking at his uh, wikipedia in june 2020 hanky wrongly tweeted that vietnam was among the quote rotten apples of coronavirus data after misattributing the country's zero death count as no data reported after much outcry on social media and a petition to johns hopkins university signed by 300 vietnamese academics demanded an apology hanky issued a correction and uh, on twitter stated that the country has a perfect record of fighting against coronavirus so you know just the guy um 
Yeah, I mean, look, the he was a Reagan uh, economic guy too. Yes, you know, John Stewart uh, probably feels like some pressure of being seen as a, as an, uh, you know, a fair arbiter, uh, arbiter of these things, and and that is like, there is a, there is, you know, there is a, still a. I'm fairly certain that he also helped along the rumor that he was somehow removed from the Daily Show because of Hillary, Hillary Clinton. Right, like that. That rumor is out there too. Like I, I, this guy is not helping us by circulating conspiracy theories. Compulsion within sort of like um, mainstream media, if you will, in you know, in uh, the appropriate company to um, to hippie punch, and that's what that is. It's like it is it is old school hippie punching. I'm going to prove that I'm actually sort of like, you know, and and look, there's there's just say it. It's horseshoe theory. Some there's some value to it in the sense that he may get guests in there who he can do more, you know, damage to them that is worth than the sort of inflating of these other guests. And, And I guess, you know. He, he will make that calculation for himself. It's a different calculation than I, I No, it's not a different calculation than you, you would do. You took a, a dude who was completely obscure that nobody knew and you gave him your platform. It's not a different calculation. You literally do the same thing, Sam. Would make, uh, but that's why more people see him than see me on any given day. I just feel like if... If I, if, if someone were to come up to you, either on a, on a show or just in person, it was like, you know, I think we should get rid of this program that millions of people rely upon that, like, would, would live or die of whatever, starvation, disease, whatever. And then they pull out this BS about, like, oh, because if we give it to the rich, uh, they'll do more with it when every other study I, I think of it, it points it in the opposite direction that if we put more money in the hands of people like me and my mom, you know, the lower class, the working class, it goes farther. It helps people more. It, it makes our lives better. And I feel like Jon Stewart or any of, of the, you know, like liberal people should be pushing back more, should be on the, the offensive, as Emma would say, and not so like. Uh, Oh well, you know that that wouldn't be nice to the people. Well, you're absolutely right. Like, I mean, the welfare state in America is uh, that we're giving out corporate welfare, right? And uh, we have people like John Stewart out there and Sam Cedar acting like they are in favor of the working class, but they keep lifting up um, these terrible people with bad ideas that are actually hurting the working class. And um, yeah, I mean. What the hell has John really done? Like, okay, so he, he, he has this one stick, stick, of um, being a fighter for the 9/11 first responders, and he's done. You know, he's spoken to Congress, and he's done some great work there of trying to get them benefits and trying to get veterans better benefits. But who the hell else is he helping? And why does he keep lifting up people that are going to hurt us? And why does Sam, why does Sam do the same damn thing? It's like, no, say, hey, your, tri- your ideas have been tried and they don't work. And 40 years of suffering and poverty show that they don't work. You know, part of the problem with, uh, it, you know, do. I'm sorry, I can't get over the fact that you misspelled his name. You misspelled his fucking name. This is your channel, right? This is like your actual official channel and you did the the same thing on the last video that i covered you had anti-progressive wave in los angeles like i can't believe that you're this ignorant that you don't know how to spell john stewart's name i can't believe that you were this ignorant like who the hell is responsible for handling your youtube channel that person needs to be fired something like he's doing sort of semi part-time do you know what i mean like you know yeah john stewart has a lot of money and he has a lot of uh opportunity to do a lot of different things 
And I don't know that I would uh, come back and do what he did if I if I was in his position. I, 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 I don't know. And, you know, in some respects, he did some good. You know, he does some good on that show. Like, you know, this, the, the stuff he was doing about trans stuff was uh, very, very helpful. Um, but the problem is, is that, like, if you're going to bring somebody on who, at the very least, is he may be spouting BS, but he certainly knows how to make it sound like he's not. And part of the problem is, if you're going to bring somebody like that on, you better be steeped in this stuff so that anything that goes by you, you catch and you address. And, right. you know, the, the, the important thing, I think, to, to understand is, like, to be willing to acknowledge to yourself that th- this may be out of my depth, you know, maybe because, like, I'm not willing to spend X number of days, uh, you know. Uh, you know, it, I, I think what's even more surprising to me is that, you know, I saw for months and months all of this, like, puffing Sam up that um, people are afraid to debate him, right? Like, there was clips of people being afraid to debate him and stuff. When, um, if this is your brand, right, this is your brand, I would imagine that you're double-checking, like, what's actually getting loaded and what it looks like. Um, And also the content of the anti-progressive L.A. movement, right? Um, You were so ignorant of L.A. politics, and what was going on there that I'm just like, I'm really shocked by this because a lot of people look to you as some sort of like progressive authority. And, um, <laughs> like the ignorance is just amazing. It's, it's amazing. Uh, investigating this or, you know, uh, learning this, which I think is an absolutely perfectly fine thing to do. I mean, I certainly do that. There are, you know, uh, I, I don't have time to be, uh, you know, uh, well versed on 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 everything that I would like to cover on this show. You know, people, you know, like uh, we had uh, calls about. This. I feel like that's directed at me, right? <laughs> I don't have time to be well versed on everything. <laughs> Come on, man. The second largest city in America, and you don't know what's going on in their political sphere? Come on, man. <laughs> Ethiopia in, uh, in Tigray. And, um, and frankly, like, you know, I, 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 I tried to look into it, and I just realized, like, at one point, like, I'm not, I'm just not well-versed enough in this. And so I'm not going to take a position on it. You totally get corporate funding. You absolutely have researchers. You get prepped, right? And there is no way that you didn't know what was going on with the mayor's race in L.A. And unless you are literally not reading the notes that your researchers are giving you. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Um, and, you know, I still read up on it and I have some ideas, but I don't feel that confident. And so I'm not going to address those kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel pretty confident when it comes to like sort of talking to a libertarian because I've been doing that for, uh, for an extended period of time. But I- this dude's in New York. I even have some light knowledge of what's happening in New York. And it's not even like my job, like, like it is Sam's. This is his job to know what's going on and be able to comment on it. It's not my job. It's my hobby. I can tell you the first time that we had uh, Walter Block on, uh, Michael probably told this story a couple times on the show. Like I was, I was like, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to really dig into this stuff. We've got this like business professor, professor. coming on, and you know, I got to know my stuff here. There was no way for me to predict <laughs> he would be who he was, but now you could maybe predict it. But, but now, yes, but 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 I, you know, I was like, I was, I I I. I I was like cramming for, you know, the, the, my law school exam. Yeah, well, that's your job. You're supposed to study. You're supposed to be familiar with the topics and being a, be able to discuss these things, right? Now, I'm only giving you crap because I want you to do better. Because, I, I, you know, I think that you do have a good show. I, I just would like to see, you know, the titles actually with correctly spelled names and being reflective of the actual situation. And I'd like to see you prepared and not rolling in like you don't care. Yeah, it's like, I mean, this, like I was like, I gotta get into this. I gotta know everything this guy's gonna say. I gotta know how to address it. I gotta do all this. 
Um, and, you know, uh, I, I think unless you have the ability to do that or the inclination to do that, the best thing to do is go like, I'm not going to address it. I'm going to do a different topic. All right. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll, I'll title this The Real Problem with Sam Cedar.